Hello everyone, you welcome to Jam Vibes. So, Jacob Zuma's stronghold party right now, Umkonto with Sizwe, that is the MK party, has successfully been registered with the IEC and uh, slowly but surely ousting the ANC and the EFF off the radar. Guys, things are getting even more and more insided already and Jacob Zuma's outing has caused a whole shake in the entire political sphere in SA. Before I give you more details about this, kindly do all to follow Jump Vibes please. Like this video, drop a comment and above all, share this video with all of your friends and loved ones. In a significant milestone for the Umkonto Wesizwe MK party, spearheaded by former president Jacob Zuma, the Independent Electoral Commission, that is the IEC, has confirmed the party's registration status. This affirmation makes the party as a bona fide participant in the political arena, with documentation from the IEC attesting to its adherence to legal and procedural requirements. Jacob Zuma shocked so many people already by saying that he's not going to be voting for the ANC this year. I mean, the upcoming election here, right? So, many people were more or less like, why? I mean, isn't some sort of a betrayal? And even Ramaphosa even broke a silence saying fully well that every citizen in South Africa has the right to choose whatever party they want to actually vote for. But he definitely feels like it's some sort of a disappointment or should I say a betrayal, stuff like that. Given to the fact that that is his party, that is the party that Zuma fought for, that is the party that Zuma even went to the prison for. And Zuma said that the trajectory of the ANC under the leadership of Ramaphosa is completely different from what he fought for for so many years already, which even landed him behind bars. The MK party's successful registration has broader implications for the political landscape, particularly in light of previous objections raised by figures such as Fikile Mbalula and the ANC as a whole. Actually, the Electoral Commission had this spent, and I quote, 7 of September 2023, the party leader Umkonto with Sizwe, 320 Dr. Paisley Isaiah Kasame Street, Durban, 4001. Attention, Mr. Jabulani Simongiseni Kumalo. D. Sir, application for registration of Umkonto with Sizwe, that is the MK. Please be advised that. Your participation was approved by the Chief Electoral Officer in terms of Section 15 of the Electoral Commission Act 1996, Act 51 of 1996. The registration of the party will subsequently be published in the government's gazette. Further, take note that unless your party is represented in a legislative body, you are required to renew your registration before the last day of January of every year after the year in which the party has been registered. This is done in accordance with Section 15 Sub 6 of the Act. We look forward to a continued good relationship and assure you of our continued support on all election matters. Yours sincerely, then it was signed by Electoral Operations. Guys, this is getting even more and more deep. The documentation provided by the IEC not only affirms the legitimacy of the MK party, but also underscores its meticulous compliance with due processes, leaving little ground for challenges to its status. The core strength of the MK party lies in its unwavering adherence to legal requirements, evidence in the absence of objections during the registration process. This lack of substantive challenges positions the party as a formidable political entity, capable of exercising its rights and participating in democratic processes without unwarranted disruption. As the political landscape already embraces a huge diversity in number of opinions, ideologies, you know, all sort of diverse thoughts. The emergence of the MK party adds a new dimension to the discourse, offering citizens an alternative perspective and a choice F. All of this, fostering a democratic environment, entails respective the right of all registered political parties, allowing them to present their platforms and engage with the electorate. Despite a lot of varying opinions already, a lot of objections, a lot of contradictions from so many figures already within the political landscape, 
The documentation that was highly provided by the IEC stands as a concrete testament to the MK Party's commitment to transparency and due process. This development underscores the importance of a diverse political landscape where multiple voices contribute to the national dialogue. All in all, the legitimate registration of the MK Party not only solidifies its presence in the political arena, but also upholds broader principles of democracy and the rule of law. As the political narrative unfolds, fostering an environment that respects and accommodates diverse voices with the crucial for a robust and inclusive democratic process. Right now, without necessarily judging, I want each and every one of you to immediately rush onto the comment section and give me your honest opinions about how you feel and what you think based on everything being said and alleged in today's video. And Jacob Zuma's outburst already about the Umkonto with Sizwe, that is the MK party, and everything that is linked with all of this. Take good care of yourselves and see you in our subsequent upload.